Nassim Taleb, would you say it's right to say that the UK economy is healing? Well, I mean, it's not healing. We have a uh, something uh, quite strange. What was happening in the US and in, 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 in UK as well is that we, we put a lot of Novocaine. So you have a problem with your uh, tooth and you put a lot of uh, painkillers on it. So we're not feeling as much pain, that much pain. So that's Doesn't quantitative mean easing you're talking about there. Quantitative easing, this uh, stabilization that has taken place mostly in the United States and, and justifies you know, replication in other countries. But I don't think that uh, we have addressed the real problems. Those who are paying the price are not those who committed the sins. So who the poorest the are paying the price, in your view? Not necessarily the poorest. The, the, the future generation is paying the price first. When you settle the system with debt, transfer private debt into public debt, the next generation is paying the price. Or if you inflate the system to reduce the debt you know, via a nasty mechanism that can get out of control, you're punishing those the, who retired, worked all very hard all their lives, good citizens, and now they're retired. But my criticism mostly, and that applies to all Western governments, that the bankers have not paid the price. We are paying, and we keep paying, and they keep making the bonuses. And this year, they're going to pay themselves bonuses. This is you know, December 2012. They're going to pay themselves bonuses, year-end bonuses. It, it, it's a shame. Okay. So clearly, once they paid those bonuses, they should look. The government here should look at some kind of clawback. That's clear. We should this. have clawback. We should have some, something symbolic. And once you have something symbolic, everybody will be on board. Okay. I don't mind so, suffering if uh, if if others uh, if the culprits have paid the price. But the, culp uh, but it's, it, the, the system is shockingly uh, absurd the way it is now. It's like sometimes, uh, I wonder if if uh, what kind of I mean, no society has had uh, this kind of situation before. The government here has stuck to its deficit cutting, deficit cutting strategy. Uh, do you credit them with the courage of doing that, or would you have liked to have they seen have them courage. being? No, no. Would you would you like to have seen them being braver and cut public spending more? Uh, this, I, I really, I, I cannot. You see, I'm not in government. It's very hard to be in government today, because no matter what you do, no matter what you do, you're going to incur a severe criticism. Criticism from people who are purists and would like to see debt go to zero and criticism from on the other side. It's very, very hard to maneuver. You have inherited a problem and you can't really uh, wipe it out. But, but are they what, striking the, the only right thing, balance? The no. only thing I would encourage the government, it's not a criticism, I would encourage people to do today is do something symbolic to break the back of the bankers because they're gathered here and they are the ones benefiting from the system. And the second thing I would say is that quantitative easing is nice, maybe necessary, but bankers are benefiting from it more than others. And the you poorest see. and the pensioners and people are, are subsidizing suffering. via the pe everyone except the bankers are benefiting from it. So this is not a situation that can um, be, uh, be justified morally. Nassim Taleb, thank you very much Great. for joining us. Thank you. Thanks a lot.